We're going to do something a little different. We're going to make a native script application and we're going to integrate SMS and phone calls within that. So start off by firstly, if you haven't already, by installing the native script CLI. Do this by running npm install native script dash g. Then we can create our first native script application. This one is a little long, so just hang in there. Run TNS create SMS phone. That's going to be the name of our project. Then we want to put the template flag, so dash dash template. Then native script dash template dash ng dash tutorial. That's essentially going to create a blank native script Angular 2 app. Run that. If everything went successfully, you should get project SMS phone was successfully created. Awesome, we can cd into that directory now, so cd SMS phone. And now we need to add the native script phone plugin. To do that, simply run tns plugin add native script dash phone. Awesome, let's open it up in VS Code. So the structure of a native script app is very similar to that of an Ionic app and an Angular app because it runs Angular 2. As you can tell, we have an app module.ts here, an app component ts, and also an app CSS here. Let's start off by going to our app.component.ts and filling out our UI. Essentially, I want two buttons and two forms. Now we could implement a select here, we could do a variety of different things, but I just want to keep this super simple. The first thing we're going to do is change my app to native script, SMS and phone. Then we're going to start filling out our UI. So we need what you call a stack layout. And that's essentially makes everything stack on top of each other. And we're going to give this the class of P20 that adds 20 pixels of padding. And then we're going to add a label, which the label is simply going to say select either text or phone to continue. So by the end of this, we should have used a variety of different components such as layouts, buttons, labels, and so on. Next, we want a flexbox layout. And the flexbox layout allows us to have two buttons next to each other. One of these buttons is going to have the text of phone and the other button will have the text of message. So when somebody clicks the phone button, I want a form to appear which is going to be simply a phone number that we put in. And when somebody clicks the message button, I want another form to appear, and that's going to have a phone number and a message too. So let's start building out these forms. We'll need another stack layout for this. And within our first stack layout, which is going to be our phone, we'll simply need a text field for the phone number. And this is going to be the keyboard type of a phone. So this is basically the input type when somebody clicks the text field they won't get a normal keyboard, they'll instead get a phone keyboard. The hint, which is basically the placeholder text, I'm going to put enter phone number. Next, we need a button. And when somebody taps the button, we're going to call call number. The text of our button will simply say call. And now we can start building the text message form. So we want a stack layout again, and this time we want the phone number text field up here, but we also want a message field. So this one's simply going to say enter message. The keyboard type here is going to be text, and we'll need a button. Instead of call number, it will say text number, and the text of the button will say text. So now we need a way to get the input from the user. So we'll need to get the phone number, we'll need to get a text message. To do that, we'll use ng-model. In order to import and use ng-model within native script, we have to go to app module ts. Then we can import native script forms module from native script angular slash forms. We then have to put it in our imports here. And then we can use ng-model within our components. So inside our component here, I'm going to make a couple of variables. One which is phone number, and it's going to be a type number. And the other one is text message, and it's a type string. We can add the model to our text field by simply using ng model is equal to phone number. And I'm going to copy paste this to the other field down in the other stack layout. This means if somebody enters a phone number 
on the phone button. If they toggle over to message, the phone number will be kept. We'll also need a model for the text message. So simply use text message. And now we need to fill out our functions. So call number, this is simply going to return void. And with call number, we can do phone.dial. And then we need to pass a number and an operating system confirmation. To start with that, we need to import as phone from native script phone. Then we can access our phone.dial function by using simply phone.dial. And then as you can see, it requires a number. So we'll cast our number to a string. So we'll use string this.phone number. And then we'll pass the operating system confirmation dialog here to true. We can see if we look at the interface, that requires a number and an operating system specific confirmation before dialing. So that's our call number working, is if the user clicks the call number button after putting the phone number in here, it should call. The next thing to do is to make the text number function, and that's going to return a promise. And this one requires an array. So we're going to use a phone.sms, and then it's an array of numbers. So we'll cast our number yet again to a string. So this dot phone number. And if we wanted to add multiple numbers here, we, we totally could, but we only have one in our model at the moment. So after that, we're simply going to pass this dot text message. After that, we can log the result and we can also catch any errors that we might have. Awesome. So all we need to do now is set up a toggle event. So if somebody toggles the phone, this disappears. And if somebody toggles the message, this disappears. I'm going to add a new variable and this one is going to be phone type and I'm going to cast it to a number for now. I'm going to add a new variable and this one is going to be phone type and it's going to be a number. Like I said, there's a variety of ways you can do this, but this is just going to be a super simple example. When somebody taps the phone button, it's going to set the phone type to be zero. When somebody taps the message button, I'm going to set it to be one. So inside of our function here, we can just make a quick function that changes the value of phone type. So set phone type, the value of phone type, and all we're going to do is so this dot phone type is equal to the value. And now because of this, we can do conditional ng ifs. So ng if phone type is equal to zero, then we want to show this stack layout here. And if the phone type is equal to one, we want to show this form. So most likely we want to hide this call number button if the phone number hasn't been entered. So we simply add ng if phone number. And this means this button will not show unless something has been added inside the phone number box. Obviously in production, you might want to do it for a specific amount of numbers and so on. So we'll do the same here for the bottom text number, but instead we'll do if phone number and text message, then show the button. So if we head over to our app.css, we can change our CSS import to instead be sky.css. This is going to import a blue color, which we can use for our nav bar. And to do that, we simply give the action bar the class of action dash bar. Then I want to give the phone buttons and the text buttons their own unique color. To do that, we're simply going to make a class phone button and the background color of which is going to be 2ECC71 and the color of the text will be white and we'll also have the text button to be a nice blue so background color will make it 3498db and the color of the text will be white then inside of our component here we can give our buttons the particular class so this one is the phone button and this button here is the text button and inside of our buttons here again, we can add the same class. So to run this on the device, we need to go to our terminal and we can use TNS run Android, iOS, or whatever platform you'd like to run it on. So you finally made your first native script phone app, or maybe you've already used native script before and you simply want to add phone numbers and text messaging. I hope this has helped. If it has, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below and check out learnionic2.com.